Every summer, the climbing community heads to the one and only Lander, Wyoming to share in the stoke of the longest running climbing festival in the world. Todd Skinner, Paul Piana, and Heidi Badaracco first started the festival 21 years ago, but this year's festival may have been the best yet. My favorite part of the International Climbers Festival has been uh, one, being outside, of course, but two, getting to meet a lot of other people who have a similar interest and it's a supportive environment so people can work on the things that they want to work on and get better. Surrounded by hundreds of miles of remote plains and rolling hills, Lander isn't exactly what you picture when you think of classic climbing towns. But Lander is right in the middle of amazing sport and trad climbing with a rapidly developing bouldering scene. And the town of Lander itself has got to be one of the most climber-friendly towns in the nation, with free camping and a super supportive environment. From start to finish, the festival is packed full of awesome events. At the festival, we have what we call a trade fair, which is all the local sponsors and the national and international sponsors come together, set up booths to display products, have conversations, do gear demos. And then we also brought in a climbing wall for kids to climb on yesterday. We do lots of different competitions and games, crate stacking, tug of war, dino comp, arm wrestling, lots of fun to be had. Climbing can be a pretty individual sport, and the trade fair is meant to bring folks together and just enjoy being together all in one place. On Saturday, the festival hosted a trail running race, and after that, it's off to the crags. Climbers of all abilities got to climb with their favorite pros to work on footwork, endurance, or any general climbing technique. The weekend ended with a keynote speaker series by some of the most well-known climbers in the industry. Everyone there got to see inspiring talks from Alex Honnold, Sasha Julian, Lynn Hill, and tons of other big-name climbers. But beyond all the speeches, events, and contests, the International Climbers Festival is all about getting out to sin on some of the best rock in the country. It is my hope that when someone leaves Lander after the International Climbers Festival, that they think to themselves, wow, I am proud to be part of this community. And that might mean the climbing community, that might mean the Lander community, that might mean Wyoming or something larger than that. But we want people to feel connected and embraced by this place and the people who live here, regardless of their skill or ability. So if you missed it this year, start planning now so you can get to Lander next year for an awesome weekend celebrating the amazing sport of climbing.